Welcome back. Well, joining me now in studio is our Good Life correspondent, Wes Parker. And always a pleasure to have you on set, Wes. It's a pleasure to see you after so long. My gosh, it's been months and months. I'm out there doing stuff all the time, and finally I get to see you. That's right. You're living the good life. Living <laughs> the good life. The name of the show, or at least my part in it, and, and I have been doing exactly that. You know, this story I'm really interested in. It's, um, we're going to be talking about Palm Springs. And as you know, I was an anchor in Palm Springs. And you actually, you know, lived during some of the wonderful times that Palm Springs was the glamour and the old Hollywood. And what yeah. was that like? A little like Las Vegas. A lot of movie stars went down there. Frank Sinatra, Lana Turner. Elvis had a home down there. And Ava Gardner. And there was a little period of time there where Frank went down to see Ava who I think was his wife at the time. And she, believe it or not, was caught in a compromising position by Frank Sinatra with Lana Turner. They were in bed together. Oh. These two megastars, female megastars, oh. were in bed together. Oh, my goodness. You know, I read a biography on Ava Gardner, but it wasn't that juicy. No, that's... well, this is the straight stuff. Wow. That's been, that has been published. I've seen it in other publications, oh but they've goodness. kind of hushed it down. However, I'm old enough to remember. <laughs> well, and back during that time, they didn't have the paparazzi like we do now, so those kind of stories didn't get leaked out. I mean, you can never get away with that now. Straight from my mouth to your ears. <laughs> you heard it here on California Life, but, I mean, it really was a time that they could go there and be private stars. They, they could, at least more so than in L.A. And Palm Springs was very nice, then secluded, good air. It was healthy, mm -hmm. and especially during the winter, it was beautiful. In, in the summer, it, it got hot then, just like now. But the winters were gorgeous. Yeah, and it still is. It is an amazing place, and that's really what our story, The Good Life, is yes. about today and what Palm Springs is now. So let's take a look. For the millions of Californians caught up in the daily rat race of city living, there might not be a better place to relax than the desert oasis of Palm Springs, a city known for its warm weather, star-studded history, and high-end resorts and spas. The perfect place to get away from it all. People tell me when they come to visit Palm Springs from wherever they may live, that as they're driving down the I-10 and they see the windmills, it's like this release. They all of a sudden let go of their stress. Palm Springs offers amenities for anyone looking to relax, from fine dining to lush golf courses and luxury spas, many of which have received a recent facelift due to a renaissance in the downtown area. The city is experiencing a renaissance, if you will. Many of the hotels in Palm Springs have undergone extensive renovations. The Riviera here in Palm Springs underwent a $70 million renovation. This is a legendary resort in Palm Springs that Frank Sinatra and Sammy Davis made famous back in the 60s. They often performed here. For those looking to revisit the heydays of Hollywood, Palm Springs is rich with memories of one of the most glamorous times in California history. We actually have tours of celebrity homes as well as the mid-century modern homes that so many people want to see. And there's also a map at the visitor center that outlines to everyone where they can find some of these homes. Many celebrities lived in Palm Springs over the years. Lucille Ball, Bob Hope, Frank Sinatra. Some of the biggest names in Hollywood had homes in Palm Springs. And that includes the king of rock and roll himself, Elvis Presley. His house is now owned by locals Reno and Laura Fontana, who keep the king's home open to fans looking to get a better look at the life of an icon. Palm Springs' role in Hollywood isn't limited to days gone by. The Palm Springs International Film Festival brings out some of today's biggest movie stars and often serves as a warm-up for the Academy Awards. The attraction that Palm Springs is most well-known for is the Palm Springs International Film Festival. It happens every January, and it attracts films and filmmakers from all over the world. There's also a gala every year that honors the top films in the industry, and it's sort of a precursor to the Academy Awards. The southern city is by far one of the most convenient locations for Californians looking for a weekend escape. Only a two-hour drive from downtown L.A. and a short plane ride from San Francisco, Palm Springs is the ultimate staycation location for those looking for sunshine, warm temperatures, as summer draws to an end. Relaxation and rejuvenation the thought of just sipping a cocktail out by the pool and relaxing. I think that's what Palm Springs is most well known for, just an ideal vacation destination where you can get away from it all. When it comes to the good life, Palm Springs is as good as it gets. Come play in Palm Springs. You'll be glad you did. For California Life, I'm Wes Parker. 
Oh, it's so beautiful, as you can see right there. I mean, there's no crime, there's no graffiti, there's hardly any traffic. It is clean, clean. And uh, I still go there myself. I've been there to the health spas. I've been there to play golf. I go there to eat, shop, just or to just get away, just to relax. And anybody who wants to go there can get there from almost anywhere in California. And you know, and it's so well known. I know when I was an anchor in Palm Springs. I mean, people in Chicago, people from all over, know about Palm Springs. And here it really is in our backyard. It's a great little staycation. Remember when all the kids used to go there for Easter break? Oh yeah, spring break. I know. Well, mm -hmm. now you know families. They have a lot of the you know these resorts with the great pools and for families and for golf and a lot of different things. So it was an interesting, good life. And thank you so much, Wes. It's always a pleasure to have you on I'm set. So glad to see you again. I know. What are you working on next? We're going to do something down in the San Diego area. It's a surprise. Oh, all right. We'll have to wait and see. Okay. And after the break, find out which reality star is making headlines with her quickie engagement to an L.A. Laker and which NBA hotshot is about to become Hollywood's new leading man. Plus, we'll keep things cool at the press junket for Kate Beckinsale's newest film and we'll break the bad news gently about which of your favorite NBC shows won't be back this season. You don't want to miss a minute of entertainment.